Yeah. You being embarrassed. I'm trying to take a lovely photograph of you. And you don't want to stand in front of the gate. It's too embarrassing for you. Those two were over there. And I'm about to release this lot. There we go. Job done. Just fed the boys and uh, uh, oh, threw the bucket down. But the first time in years, we've cleared this path for this big tea party that's coming up. So this path, I now want to keep this path clear. It's so lovely. You walk along here and you come all the way up to the beach arch. Look at that. There we go. And to this hidden garden gate. As a child, we used to be really bold and we would put a bucket of water up there and a piece of string so that it might get my grandfather soaked. The only problem was we only had metal buckets in those days. So it could have been a nasty accident, but it never occurred. He outsmarted us. Isn't that right, Brindle? He outsmarted us. So, the and we used to climb up here. This is a wonderful tree for children to climb on, except that you can get your leg caught in the twists and turns of the branches. Anyway, there we go. This path is now cleared. So you can have a lovely stroll along here. And uh, I've got to move these. These are Lucifer, uh, whatchamajiggers. Look at that, big flowers. So these, I think I've got to move. They don't get enough sun in here. So I'm gonna move them to another location. Funny what you find. Now here, this is the trunk of the rose that I put here 27 years ago. This rose has climbed all the way up this pear tree. This pear tree is really old. We got it genetically analyzed and they figured out it was planted in the 1730s. And it's a French cooking pear. So you can see the pears are huge and they're rock hard. They only soften when uh, you cook them. So they don't really harvest them until late September, or October. And they're delicious cooked pears. They're absolutely scrum deliumptious as cooking pears. Anyway, there's a little bit of garden history. Oops, I did a stupid thing. I forgot to close this gate. I cannot feed them when they're all out because then the food goes all over the ground mostly. Come on, girls! Come on! Woo! Come on! Let's pretend I'm feeding them somewhere else. Come on! Come on! I've put the bucket up there. Jeez, I hope you don't get up there. No, little bit. No, little bit. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> this is not going to be easy to trick them. They're all going up there again. You guys are a pain. Put the food out with them in here. I just can't. They'd tip me over and tip the food over. It'd be a waste. <laughs> Ladies, 
This is not happening the way you think it is. Really. I'm gonna have to do a little sleight of hand trick, I think. Yep. Okay, girls, you're gonna come in here. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on. Come on. Still loads of grass in here. Not high protein because of the lack of sun. Come on, girls! Come on! <laughs> oh, you old girl. Are you losing your spot in the pecking order? Hmm? Okay, I'm just gonna have to sit on the ground. grassy spot no sheep shit <sighs> there we go now see you guys no food <laughs> come here java come keep me company yeah <laughs> hey your feather how are you oh 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 no no behave Poor ear feather, that was just not fair. Now, there's a few sheep that see the, my bucket of food down there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave her alone. You just behave, I know you're jealous. But you just leave ear feather alone. This isn't working. They're all going back down the hill. <laughs> I've got a lap full of dogs. You good girl, Brenda. Yeah. Uh, I'll have to figure something else out. This is not working as I'd anticipated. They're not being tricked. Now, I hope I can catch this on film. But there's huge flocks of finches here. Look at this. Huge flocks of finches. They're all eating the thistle seeds. Look at them all. The field is full of birds. Look at that. Woo! It's alive with birds eating the thistles, seeds, gold finches, green finches, chaffinches. It's wonderful. Oh. Somebody's laid eggs. This is not a chicken egg. I think this is a pheasant egg. Definitely not a chicken egg. Anyway, this is fantastic seeing this. Let's see if I walk over here. Another flock of them rise up out of the... Uh, you can hear them all chattering in the background in the hedgerow. Look at them all. Woo! Loads of them. Oh. Fight. Absolute fight. And look, a peacemaker trying to make them be peaceful. Definite pecking orders occurring. Look at her eating a thistle. Even 
though there's grass, lots of grass. Look, she's eating a thistle too. She's eating a thistle. But this really, the finches are amazing here at the moment. Absolutely full of them. Look all the way over there, that is full of them. The tops of the thistles are all moving because of all the finches. Don't know if you can see it on film. It's just alive with birds, the thistles. Just amazing. Most farmers, and I used to be one, hated seeing that many thistles. But the sheep are all eating them. They're eating the thistles and the grasses and all kinds of things. And then here, look, there's a moth right there. Flew away. Look at her eating a thistle. Well, you're the only one that came down so far. Let's see if everybody else comes down. Come on! Woo! Yeah. Okay, you're the years that went into the little orchard. Now, the other ones, up over the hill. Come on, girls! Who went to look at thistles with me? Java? Leave it. Come on, girls! Woo! There we go. Okay, now, you can go up for your breakfast. I had to outwit you. Go on up there. It's up there. Java? A little bit doesn't believe them. Yep, now she does. Okay, I better come out and remember to close this gate so I don't get stuck not feeding the ears when needed. They don't move. Come on! Hey! <laughs>
collecting up fencing from over in that field while these guys had their supper. They're doing a great job pruning this stuff back. Look at that. Okay, come on. Brindle, leave it. Queuing up for some drinks of water. There we go. 